Hi guys, this video is going to be some tips from my experience on how to spot preeclampsia during pregnancy. I'm currently pregnant with baby number two and during my first pregnancy I developed preeclampsia which was the reason why I had to deliver my baby at 37 weeks because that's when my preeclampsia was picked up and during this pregnancy I've been put under consultant care so I've had a little bit more monitoring to make sure that if preeclampsia does develop in this pregnancy that it gets picked up from the start. So if you don't know anything about preeclampsia and you're currently pregnant and you're just doing your, your research, um, preeclampsia is a condition that can develop at any point during pregnancy but it's more common in the second and third trimesters. It's a very serious condition that can cause harm to you and to your baby so if you think that you have preeclampsia or if you're showing any symptoms of preeclampsia then make sure that you immediately contact your midwife or your doctor to get that checked out. Usually the only cure for preeclampsia during pregnancy is to deliver the baby but it depends on how severe it is on how early it gets picked up and how manageable um, the condition can be with medication until your baby is healthy enough to be delivered. In my case, like I said, my preeclampsia was picked up on a routine midwife appointment at 36 weeks and six days, but I had been showing some symptoms of preeclampsia from about 33 weeks, which is when I think it started to develop for me. So what are the main symptoms of preeclampsia? Usually you develop high blood pressure, you get really swollen and puffy all of a sudden, not just normal pregnant swelling, but really, really swollen and puffy. There's also usually protein found in your urine and your baby's growth is reduced. So in my case, these were the four symptoms that were present when my preeclampsia was found and they were all present in one particular day that I went for my appointment. Before that point, before 36 weeks and six days, I had a lot of swelling from 33 weeks, but I had none of the other symptoms of preeclampsia. It was never found protein in my urine, my baby was growing well, and my blood pressure was okay. So I was never put on any medication for preeclampsia because midwives and everybody that assessed me just assumed that my swelling was a lot of water retention. But in hindsight, now I know it wasn't. It was just the early stages of my preeclampsia. I also had a couple more symptoms which then later on were associated with preeclampsia and they were headaches and also little kind of like colorful spots that I would see. And I didn't think much of it at all. It was only when the doctor was going through the list of symptoms and asking me whether I had these that I actually went, oh yeah, I, I've been feeling that or I've been getting that. So my main tip is to keep an eye on yourself. Always make sure that you're checking if you feel too swollen, if your shoes start to suddenly not fit, if your face looks puffy, very, very puffy, if your rings don't fit in your hands anymore. All of these are things that you need to be keeping an eye on. And I know that there is such thing as normal swelling in pregnancy, but if you just don't feel normal, then it's always best to get it checked. Another thing is you can buy a little blood pressure monitor to keep in your house. They're not expensive. You can buy them in supermarkets. They will just give you a little bit of peace of mind if you're not feeling great one day. Obviously, the only thing that you can rely on 100% is a health professional's opinion, but it's good to have an idea and be informed from the start so that you're not just guessing and wondering if everything is okay. So if your preeclampsia is severe and it gets picked up really early on in your pregnancy, it might be that you need to be put on medication, on blood pressure medication to keep your blood pressure regular and stable and you might be able to go all the way until 40 weeks or even further than that without any problems on medication but it could be as well that your preeclampsia develops and it gets even worse and your baby needs to be delivered early but chances are if you're full term and you develop preeclampsia that your doctor will want to induce you not all doctors will but chances are that they will because if you're full term then your baby is fully grown, completely developed and there is no risk to baby's life being delivered from 37 weeks onwards and like I said usually the cure to preeclampsia is delivering a healthy baby and so that's what my doctor did for me and I think it was the correct decision because a scan picked up that my baby's growth wasn't keeping up with the expected. He was measuring 
33 to 34 weeks when he was supposed to be 37 weeks and doctors weren't sure why he wasn't growing. So because I was already full term, I was induced straight away and I'm so, so glad that that decision was made. It was the best thing for my son to be delivered early. So it was good that we got him out when we did and that he came out safely and naturally without any more complications. So that was my experience with preeclampsia and the signs and symptoms that I developed. If you've been through preeclampsia, please leave your tips and your symptoms and anything that you want to share in the comments below because it might help other women who are researching about preeclampsia or even going through at the moment. And always, always, always check with your doctor and your midwife or your health professional if you're not feeling well during pregnancy. Never stay at home quietly and wondering if everything is okay. If you are not sure, it's always best to get checked. If you're currently pregnant, I wish you all the best with your pregnancy. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future videos. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you very soon. Bye!